Well, hey, hey, family. Thank you for joining me on another episode of A Sister's Trust. Y'all trust y'all sister? I hope so. You know what, y'all? We've been feeding our bodies for this vegan channel a lot. So it's, we got to speak eventually get back to feeding the spirit, right? So I ain't forgot, but I'm going to come back with something, right? But right now, I just want to tell you about this quick and easy bread that you can make. And it only takes four ingredients. You only need flour, water, salt, and yeast. It's so simple. We don't have to sit here and mold it and, and fold it and all that kind of stuff. It's really, really simple. So this is going to be um, homemade bread. Num um, we're going to call it homemade bread. Step one. That's, that's good enough. Step one. because And the reason we need to do it as step one is because we're going to let this, this yeast from the bread, you know, we're going to intertwine that so that it can rise. And it takes like 24 hours to just sit, but it's not a lot of work. And I'm going to show you. And so I in, and took my, took time and invested for myself what they call a Dutch oven. And I don't know why I'm getting tongue tied because I know what I want to say. But anyway, I'm on lunch break and that's how easy it is. I can cook my fries because, you know, we're still doing that vegan challenge. So instead of doing um, just a baked potato, I decided to do a few waffle fries just to change up the style. But anyway, forget that right now. So anyway, I got myself a little Dutch oven. Look at this. Hot red. It don't go with nothing in my house. And that's cute. And this is how it looks on the inside. So what people do is they bake their items. And this is a real steel pot heavy. And you put the whole pot in the oven. Okay. Once the mixture is ready, you cook it with the lid on for 20 minutes. You take the lid off and you cook it for 15 minutes, okay? And I'm going to remind you when we do part two, when I actually show you what I'm doing. Okay, so let's get started. So it's pretty simple. Like I said, you're just going to get a bowl. And so first of all, we're going to take three cups and a little bit over, about three cups and the 20th um, cup of flour. So, you know, y'all spend a little lunch time with me and we're going to make this little quick bread since we've been having so much fun and all this cooking, right? Now, I'm not going to try to eat this bread because it can't go on the hips after all this vegan challenge. So, like I said, we're going to get three cups. All right, come on, flour. Just one. Oh, we got three in there. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be something? Run out of flour. Two. Okay, that's a little bit more than what I want. Okay, so that's three cups. And I just want to just a little drop more. Okay. I like cleaning as I go because I don't like a lot of stuff piling up. Okay. The girl ain't got time to be cleaning all day. All right, so with the water, it's a cup and maybe a half of a fourth cup, right? Because you know how a fourth of a cup, we're going to use half of that. So probably like this much of that fourth. And I already put in this little bowl of water. Well, you know, back up. Let's not do the water yet. Okay, we're going to use the yeast. I'm going to use, mm, I think I'm going to use um, two tablespoons of the yeast. One. Because, you know, the yeast is going to help it to do the little rising. And then you need some salt. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of salt. Last time I just used, I don't know why they did an eighth. I'm just going to do two tablespoons of salt. Okay. So the only mixing you're really going to be doing, I'm going to go ahead and mix that. I want to mix those items up together. Make sure it's good in my flour. You see, I just got like a little spoon. I'm just mixing it just to shoot my salt and my yeast around. I want to be really good in my flour. And this is really, really easy. I'm thinking because when it flattens out, it almost looks like pastry. But, you know, we didn't put nothing sweet in here. So we could probably, like, make something sweet, stuff it with something, you know, do all kind of things. I might try to make two little small loaves out of this when it's time. Okay? And the last thing you're going to do is add the water. Just like that. Clean hands. 
And all you're going to do is just get in here and you're just going to mash it into the water. Just go up and down in the water. Because all we're doing is absorbing the water into my, our dough. Nothing fancy. You know, you just, this is not a lot of work. Look at this. All I'm doing is just picking up the dough and, and just adding it to it. Because, like I said, we're going to cover it. I'm going to put like the saran wrap on it, and it's going to rise for the next 24 hours. So if you're a person and you got no patience, do it in the morning. So the next morning you can do it because then you end up in the middle of the night trying to cook bread. So I just want to finish this lifting my dough. I almost feel like I need a little bit more water, but let's see. And only reason is because I just want to make sure everything is kind of stuck together. You know how sometimes you have like a little bit of flour at the bottom? Um, and I really don't want that. So I'm going to reach right across here to my refrigerator, which got some water. Put my bowl. I'll be right back. was quick and so I just want to add a little bit of water just to pick up the rest of my little flour a little bit just a little bit and see what that's going to do roll it around in there because you're not trying to make it all perfect you're just trying to just pick it up see how it's just chucking it to the little dough it's kind of messy Get a little bit off of my fingers. <laughs> okay. You just see how the dough it is? See? It's just dough. You're not trying to make no design. You're just getting it. You want to make sure it's all the pieces are on there together. That's all you're going to do, right? You can use a steel, you know, you can look, use a steel bowl or whatever you want to use. It's just something simple. Oh, good thing I had like a little towel here because I do want to wipe my hands off before I get in my, my um, plastic wrap because I don't want stuff on my stuff, you know. So have your little towels and stuff put together. That way it'd be easier or you already know. And the only thing else you do is get your little wrap. I'm gonna have to walk my box up a little bit because uh, I didn't plan for this part. When you're messing this sticky stuff, so maybe if you already measured out, you don't have to worry about it. Put your little wrap on, and you're done. That don't, that don't even take us that long, right?